Today we're going to learn how to lay out a pyramid using basic triangulation method. You will notice that I drew two views. One is a front view or elevation view and the one above is the top or plan view. Before you go any further, make sure you have identified your points A, B, C, D, and X. This pyramid measures three by three at the base, and the height is two and a half inches. In most cases, all you require is the top view, the plan view. You are now required to draw a 90 degree angle on your metal or your paper. And at the moment I am marking two and a half inches and this represents the finished or the true height of your pyramid. So now we're going to get ready to start our layout. Right now I'm setting my dividers equal to AX on the plan view. And I am going to bring AX to the baseline of my working triangle. And make sure you mark it AX. This one is BX. And all these lines are called measurement lines or element lines. Because this is an on-center pyramid, all of these corner lines are the same length. So now I'm using CX. And the last one is to bring DX also. It's like I said, they are all the same length. The line that I am drawing now represents the true length of each of those corners on that pyramid. And triangulation is based on finding true length. Because the base of the pyramid measures three by three, I'm going to start with A and B which is three inches apart. And we're going to try to find X. So I'm using the true length line of AX. Set your compass point on A and strike an arc towards X. And do the same thing because BX is the same distance. We have now located X. From B to C, we know it's a true length line because it is the base of the pyramid that measures three inches. Set your dividers or your compass to three inches. With the needle on B, strike an arc towards C. Now we're gonna need true length line from X to C. And where they meet, that is C. One thing you hopefully you will notice is that it is very important to mark letters or numbers on the base of the fitting and on the top of the fitting. And in this case, my base is A, B, C, D, and the top meets at one point, and I just called it X.
Now make sure you keep lettering your drawing as you go. Now that we've found B to C, C to D is the same distance, three inches. That's the base of the pyramid. Strike an arc of three inches, and now we're gonna to need to find X, D on the true length triangle. We've just located D. Now you see we've got three triangles. There's four triangles in the pyramid. So let's finish off the fourth side, D to A. So right now I've chosen XA, and we know D to A is three inches. Where your two arcs meet will become A. And you will notice that XA or AX is in there twice. That's, become, that's because this is where the seam is going to be for this fitting on AX. Now that your pattern is done, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and shape it to its finished dimensions. The base is three inches by three inches. And I'm showing you here that it measures two and a half inches tall. 